Good day everyone and welcome to another edition of In Case You Missed It. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Sunday Olise has showed Nigerians of World Cup qualification as he targeted a return to the Super Eagles as head coach. NFF President Ibrahim Gusau and Sports Minister Senator John Ennon met with the new head coach of the Super Eagles in London. Despite Super Eagles failure, Vinity George is finally back as he joins Rivers United as a new head coach. Super Eagles set to play Bene and Rwanda again in the qualifiers for the 2025 AFCON. Check out all the groups. It didn't work out. I have moved on. Finity George speaks about his regret as the Super Eagles coach. Check out the best football kit for the 2024-2025 season. Tell us which is your favorite. Hello everyone and welcome to Sport Talks with Barney. Please subscribe for more updates. The former Super Eagles captain and head coach, Sunday Olise, has said if the Nigeria Football Federation NFF approaches him, he is willing to offer technical help to the men's national team free of charge. The Super Eagles are currently without a coach, following the resignation of former Nigerian international, Nnedi George and John. It remains to be seen whether the NFA will settle for a top-class foreign technical director over the class of 94 players to replace the former Ayemba head coach. In an intriguing interview with Elected TV Sports, the former Super Eagles captain, Sunday Olise, has sensationally offered a service to the troubled Nigerian national team. He said, If my country tells me, Sonny, we won't follow your dog, I will discuss it with them because it is my country. I served Nigeria for 10 years non stop as a player and eventually for 30 years as a captain. And in those 10 years, not once did I complete as a player, not once did I have disciplinary problem. So that shows the commitment I have to serve in my country. The football legend explosive comments come as the national team find itself involved in disorder. Following Finidi George's terrible period as a Super Eagles head coach, Finidi George was appointed in March to replace Jose Becerro but dramatically crashed and burned, blasting barely two months before being forced to resign after a woeful run in the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. His brief tenure saw Nigeria humiliated at home in a draw against South Africa in Oyo before suffering a shocking defeat to Gernot Ross Benin Republic, leaving their World Cup hopes hanging by a thread. Now, with the NFFV official and yet to confirm Finidi's resignation, Ulisse has made a dramatic plea to return and rescue the Super Eagles. In an outreaching appeal, Ulisse declared, Let's not deceive ourselves. I only have one country. Forget that I have Jamal Pali. Nothing brings me more joy than my people. The former Super Eagles midfielder passionately added, If my country wants to speak with me, I will answer. I can also give technical assistance because we have to qualify for the World Cup. Ulisse sensational come and get me comments. Come after five years after he infamously resigned as the Super Eagles head coach. You will recall that then 41 year old took to the social media to announce his resignation, citing contract violations, lack of support, unpaid wages, and benefit to the team as his reason. Five years on, the former Borussia Dortmund star seems ready to bury the hatchet and come save his country. Will Ulisse be the savior Nigeria so desperately needs? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. The search for the new head coach of the Super Eagles will be concluded in the coming days, with a shortlisted candidate for the role set to meet with the NFF President Ibrahim Gusau and the Minister of Sports, Senator John Ennon. Earlier this week, there was speculation about NFF President and the Sports Minister could now be in London to meet with the prospective foreign coaches for the Super Eagles. It has been confirmed that Gusau flew out of Abuja to London on Monday. A top official confirmed that NFF boss is in the English capital city, just as it has also been confirmed that Sports Minister John Ennon has also found his way there. Last month, the NFF announced that they will appoint a new foreign team card advisor for the Super Eagles after Nigeria 2026 FIFA World Cup hopes suffer a huge setback on the back of a draw at home with South Africa and a loss against Benin that saw the Super Eagles drop to fifth position in a group of six countries. The Football Federation went ahead to promise that a new head coach would be in place before the 2025 AFCON qualifiers in September. Yesterday, the Super Eagles were drawing the same group as Benin Republic, Rwanda, and Libya in the qualifiers for AFCON. In the tournament, they reached the final and lost to the host nation, Côte d'Ivoire, under the guidance of Jose Pesero in February. However, both the NFF Technical Department and the NFF Technical Committee have been left in the dark as regards the first search for a new coach. It has been suggested that the NFF leadership will not prefer to bypass the Technical Committee and do the end hunting directly, as was the case when the then NFF President, Amadjo Penic, and picking an outroar and Jose Pesero. The sports minister has said the country will have to appoint a foreign coach with a pedigree that will excite Nigeria, even as he wondered how such a coach would be paid. Numerous foreign coaches have expressed interest in leading the Super Eagles, but the NFF have already trimmed the relenting list to just Terry. However, amidst this search, reports have emerged indicating that Salih Su Yusu is said to be appointed as a member of coaching staff for the Nigeria team, according to a report from media outlet Ungo Nigeria. 
the NFF is keen to include a 62 year old in the coaching setup of the Nesso Paigus coach. The veteran manager previously worked with the former Nigeria coach, Ghana Tro. During his five years stint with the Super Eagles, Coach Salisu, who has been a lengthy part of Nigeria football's setup over the last decade, recently returned from a lengthy FIFA suspension after he was caught on camera receiving a bribe from an undercover football agent. Hello everyone and welcome to Sport Talks with Barney. Please subscribe for more updates. Former Super Eagles and Nigerian international coach, Finedi George, is set to become the head coach of the LPFS side, Rivers United. The immediate past coach of the Super Eagles, Finedi George, will be unveiled as the new Rivers United head coach on Thursday, according to a post by Trendy Feet, the media officer of Rivers Angels. The 53-year-old was in charge of the Super Eagles during the March international break and was appointed as the official coach of the Nigerian national team in May. But a defeat to the Benin Republic and a draw against South Africa didn't boost credibility a lot of gold. Following rumors that the Nigerian Football Federation NFF might hire a technical advisor and that Fenedi would be demoted, the former Ajax winger turned in his recyclation letter, which led to even more drama as Victor Simen lashed out on Instagram about alleged comments made by the coach. However, that has not discouraged interest in the former Eimba international coach as he said to take charge of Rivers United barely a month after leaving his role as the head coach of the Super Eagles. It was gathered that Finity has met with the owners of Rivers United and Rivers State Governor Sim Fubara. This is coming weeks after he left his post as the head coach of Nigeria's national team following a poor performance in the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers in June. His homecoming to Rivers United will be a welcome one for the club supporters as they look to rebuild after a difficult campaign last season under sack manager Stanley Eguma. Rivers United ended the 2023-2024 MPFL season in 8th position, 17 points behind league champions Enugu Rangers and hope Fenidi's appointment will feed them back to the top of Nigerian football. Fenidi won the MPFL with Eimba International in the 2022-2023 season and spent almost 3 years at the club before taking on a full-time role with the Super Eagles. According to accredited FIFA and CAF photojournalist Adepo Jutubi Samo, former Super Eagles winger Emmanuel Amunike might be announced as the head coach of Atlanta FC if the will based football club seals an FPFL slot. Amunike has been serving as a consultant to the club since last season. Meanwhile, 62 year old Belgian coach Mark Bryce was tipped as a potential replacement for Fenedi, the current coach of the Indomitable Lions of Cameroon, who was reportedly being considered by the Nigeria Football Federation NFF. Bryce, who said if he's good with Cameroon, has not denied rumors linking him with the vacant Super Eagles position. The Super Eagles have been placed in good D for the 2025 African Cup of Nations qualifiers alongside familiar opponents, the topic of Benin and Rwanda, who are also in the same group with Nigeria in the qualifiers for the 2026 FIFA World Cup. The draw ceremony held at the Super Sports Studio in Johannesburg, South Africa, also placed Libya in the same group as Nigeria. Under the guidance of former Super Eagles coach Ghana Troll, the Republic of Benin secured a crucial 2 1 victory over Nigeria in the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers last month. The defeat dealt a huge blow to Nigeria's qualification hopes for the tournament and subsequently prompted the resignation of Fenidi George, who has been appointed as a team coach just a month earlier. Nigeria is fifth with three points from four matches in the group. The qualifier will see top two teams from each group directly qualify for the AFCON finals, scheduled to take place from December 21, 2025 to January 18, 2026. Morocco as the host nation automatically qualify regardless of their group stage performance, leaving one additional team to advance from their group. The Super Eagles road to the tournament will involve matches scheduled across FIFA international windows in September, October and November this year. With Libya and Rwanda rounding out Group D, the Super Eagles face a challenging but navigable path to secure their place in the Continental Showcase. The groups for the 2025 AFCON qualifiers are following. Keep 
Former Super Eagles coach Finity George has been revealed as a new Rivers United coach. The 54 year old will now take over the reign at the former Nigeria Professional Football League MPFL champions following Stanley Eguma's sack towards the end of last season. Coach Finity George has said that he has moved on after his brief period with the Super Eagles and now hope to stay a new club, Rivers United, back to the top. Finity quit as Super Eagles coach after the team drew 1 1 at home with South Africa and lost 2 1 away against Benin Republic in the crucial 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers last month. He has now signed a two-year contract with top MPFL side, Rivers United. Speaking at his own venue at the Rivers United Secretariat on Wednesday, he said, My job with the Super Eagles did not work out. I have to move on and impact our league here. You can't just be idle as a coach. The former Ajax winger has now made a quick return to the MPFL with Rivers United. He said the team will get back to winning ways under his tutelage. He said, For a good teams like Rivers, it's all about winning, which we will try to do. We all know football is not easy. We all want results and we have to work towards it. That is what we are going to do. We are not going to relent and we will work for results. Speaking about his target at Rivers United, Finidi said, The target set is for Rivers United to perform well and at least get the continental ticket. It is a difficult task but we are capable and we do our best to achieve that. Speaking about Finidi's appointment, the general manager of Rivers United FC, Dr. Oki Paluku, described the appointment of the 1994 AFCON winner with the Super Eagles as a new chapter in the history of the River State onside, Ms. Ward. He said, We are delighted to have Finidi join our team. His appointment marks a new beginning in our club's history. We are committed to working together to achieve success. Finidi expressed his gratitude to the club, saying, I am honored to have this opportunity. I thank the support commissioner, the general manager, and the supporters for their confidence in me. I am committed to working hard and make the team win. Before taking the national team job, Finidi was in charge of Enyimba International in the MPFL. He won the MPFL title in the second season with the People's Elephants. He will be open to replicate the same with the Fans United, who emphatically won the league in the 2021-2022 season. The pride of Rivers finished its last season with 17 points behind the league champions, Rangers FC. The 2023-2024 season has drawn to a close and attention is now turning to the 2024-2025 season with the biggest clubs in world football releasing all their new kits for the campaign ahead. Some of the biggest sporting brands and football clubs around the globe have teamed up to produce some genuinely outstanding kits. The annual vibrant of New Jersey releases always showcases the best football culture and fashion have to offer because it's always more than just a football jersey. Kit manufacturers such as Nike, Adidas, Puma, New Balance and more compete for the attention of football fans by coming up with fresh looks every year. And the demand is such that there's always room for innovation. The bigger, the better. Here are some of their starting kits from top football clubs released so far. Modela, 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 Modela,
Panaka, Podra Mala, Nikala Sikala Eminem, but till I can be poor, I die, Mala, die, Mala. You're the Pakara Porta Porta Kalambi, 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 